Hello, my name is David Shepardak from Cisco, and uh, we are uh, promoting InterCloud, which is our multi-cloud platform. And today I'm going to be talking about how our InterCloud initiative is helping to enable application developers deliver cloud-native applications. First of all, what is InterCloud? InterCloud is the vision, the implementation, the integration of multiple clouds, uh, spirit cloud providers across private, public, multiple public cloud providers, as well as also our Cisco-powered cloud partners. This is a multi-tiered, multi-faceted solution that really promotes openness based on OpenStack APIs, as well as also a vast ecosystem of different kinds of services that you can enable across cloud providers. Um, a few examples of that would be, there we go. Um, you know, you, by embracing the Cisco cloud services, you get the whole degree of all of our Cisco native applications, such as WebEx, Meraki, as well as also disaster recovery and, and other systems that we support. But through the interconnection of multiple clouds, you can also leverage other cloud partners on native applications, um, including big data, you know, data analytics, things like that. And then you can connect this all back up to your private cloud to be able to have a secure mechanism of connecting and leveraging these unique services for your enterprise or for your cloud native applications. Use cases could include cloud bursting, disaster recovery, um, or you know, storing your data local so that it's secure. And then you know, bursting your workloads into a various public clouds with unique services um, to allow you to give security and multi-tenancy across regions at a global scale. Um, and this is kind of really the platform of the internet of, ev of everything. Not only are we just looking at you know, basic infrastructure as a service based applications and appliances, traditional load balancers, database a as a service, we're looking also how to build an ecosystem based on containers or lightweight applications, microservices, and really driving even IoT IOE, or where we're doing a lot of in innovation around um, driving uh, you know, embedded systems, mobile devices, and uh, you know, sensors-based systems from at a global scale into a comprehensive platform with multiple different services. Um, and this is kind of our vision. Um, businesses need choice, and they need the ability to choose how they embrace cloud at a low barrier of entry and to further their business agility and to enable them to deliver their services faster, better, and easier. What that really looks like is, you know, is basic core OpenStack s services. You know, the openness of OpenStack APIs, we're actively investing and embedding into uh, the community. That's why we're here today. Um, to really looking at furthering the APIs and the expansion of OpenStack to give that portable application fle flexibility across cloud providers who implement OpenStack. And even beyond o OpenStack, if that's what your business needs. Additionally, uh, we are embracing a federated marketplace. So not only do you, can you build enterprise native applications or marketplace uh, applications, but how do I consume those applications across multiple different cloud providers? How do I consume applications to both my enterprise as well as also the public cloud? And this is kind of a very complex problem that we're doing all the plumbing and all of the integration to, so you don't have to worry about that. So you can just focus on building your cloud applications, leveraging native APIs, um, at a global scale. Finally, um, we're looking at application enablement, which is kind of what I'll be talking about a little bit later today is, you know, I'm an enterprise or I'm a customer. I, I have been building my, you know, my internal websites or, or messaging systems or ways that I serve both my internal customers and my external customers. The question then becomes, how do I build and embrace cloud to enable new cloud native applications and capabilities? How do I move from a traditional model and help me evolve to a modern model of, of microservices and cloud native applications. So what we're, we're really going to talk about, you know, is OpenStack as a core, we have this comprehensive layer of OpenStack. However, uh, under the hood, we have uh, a disparate set of unique services and, of course, everything that you expect from an OpenStack cloud, right? You have users, tenants, domains, DNS, volume, snapshots, the whole range of what you expect from any cloud platform or public cloud provider. However, underneath this, as we are Cisco, we are traditionally a hardware vendor and we're you know, and now a cloud vendor. What you get actually is, underneath is all of our traditional enterprise technology and use cases. UCS, Nexus 9K, um, you know, InterCloud Fabric, and a, a wide range of our try and true um, really enterprise software and hardware stacks 
that you get in, be able to consume in an open way through OpenStack. So you would provision a VM, and that VM would leverage unique capabilities of UCS that you might run in a private cloud deployment, for example. Um, not sure too much of time, but the objective here is, is just to show you that you're getting open technology, portable technology across multiple cloud providers, and if you choose Cisco Cloud or a private cloud leveraging Cisco hardware, you can get cloud that leverages your existing hardware footprint. However, um, a little bit more about our marketplace federation. Um, really, you know, when we look, talk about applications, we're talking about policy, application lifecycle, um, benchmarking, certification, availability, billing, accounts, a complex set of different um, application-centric ideas of both from buying and selling and exchange of applications and licensing that we have to do with day to day. And we have a system that provides that in a very cloud-native way with a low barrier to entry. Similarly, uh, under the hood, we have um, uh, infrastructure integrated billing systems and the ability to provision applications across multiple cloud providers. Um, and we've kind of built this comprehensive model of you don't have to worry about it. Across different clouds, you can then deploy your application and you get you know, your single um, you know, money flow into your bank account and, and you can just go through a single place to really build, develop, and deploy your ap applications for consumption. And then we, when we look at integrating these two together, you get the comprehensive view of managing, developing, and deploying your application for the cloud with the set of infrastructure and tooling that we've built to abstract the complexity away from you. So you get the value and you get the abstraction, all in one comprehensive federated marketplace. Here's just a quick overview of, of some of the earlier versions of our marketplace, just to show you that we, we have the, we're looking to embrace both the applications you expect from a uh, you know, uh, marketplace consumption model, as well as also enabling new application developers to really deliver new kinds of applications and services, which is what I'll, I'll talk to you next. So how do we enable applications? You know, well, we have apps, apps for the cloud, apps for devices. How do we make it easier? You know, some use cases are we want native cloud applications. We want, you know, port my application from one environment to another. We also have all this legacy infrastructure or legacy applications that somehow I want to be enabled to be consumed. You know, traditional virtual appliances, microservices, containers, and also the idea that I have to move from, you know, a traditional model to uh, a modern model. If I have to, I don't have to. And so what we're really looking at is how to make it, uh, to enable agility and to enable you choice in how you perceive or pursue enabling your business with new applications and systems. Really some pain points today, you know, DevOps. DevOps is a growing industry that really comes out of the pain point that I have to manage, operate, test, deploy uh, software in a manageable way, manage releases, testing, operations, configuration management, uh, deliver new versions and, and hot fixes to my customers. Um, the pain points are really, you know, how do I really define, I have all these programming languages I can build my application in. Which application programming language is best? Which will work best with cloud? How do I integrate this flip programming flavor with the cloud? And these are kind of some questions that need, need to be answered in some complexity. You know, VM flavors, Linux flavors. We have, you know, API integration. How does that all fit together when I develop and build my applications? When I then build my application, how do I connect it all together? I might want to leverage core native APIs for databases as a service, big data. How do I package it for the cloud to be consumed in various flavors across cloud infrastructure? Then finally, when I go to deploy, how do I get a continuous deployment model on the cloud, right, from multi-region, multi-cloud environments? And, and really, software is business, right? It's, it's software business is evolving into a software business. Everyone has software and needs to enable their customers with software. So today, uh, we have built uh, basically a proof of concept that we're turning into GA called Shipped. Shipped is a tool that simplifies the DevOps model and allows us to deliver cloud native applications in an easy, seamless way to increase velocity and improve agility of our, um, of our business needs. So today I'm just going to uh, switch to that, not ship to that. So really, Shipped, well, let's let that start. So Welcome Shipped to Shipped is from Cisco. currently integrated With into Shipped, GitHub. You can build powerful microservices so basically and get them to production fast. what I can do is fast. I can just log into to GitHub, and I'm just going to skip here a little bit. 
containerized um, service details, about the details about the product. Stop by to learn more. So here we sign into Getting GitHub. started is as simple as logging right. in with GitHub. I want to give here, the application I'm asked to authorize on, the application. GitHub to have permission I'll choose to, to authorize. In the cloud. And then GitHub the asked me to confirm my password. Cloud portable CICD application. We name now it I'm brought to a screen where I can create my of, new application. Uh, I'll give it the name CICD Demo, process. Start Composing. You can choose your flavor. We already pre Here, the I'm going to create a simple application. application. You need I can scroll through a list of build packs and case, languages, and I'm going to select PHP. I'm going to name it. I'm going to call my application PHP which, uh, Hello World. My application and my and I'm going to choose to put this in the Cisco I, I Cloud GitHub repository. Parameters, and I basically add this flavor of application I want to build to my Additionally, uh, I can choose different backing services. The There's Cisco APIs, popular databases, and message queues. Cloud, so but for now, I'm just know, going to keep it data simple. Data stores and message queues that I can just pick and choose, and I already get all of that integrated into my dev environment. Right. Finally, when we go build, after clicking we build, create an environment I presented with a command a run. URL, and by and running this single is, command on my workstation, an entire development environment will be created. Your API backends, your API integration points, your clients. Um, all of the build uh, environment for you, the Vega integration, um, and all I do is just run that, right? And when I run that, when it's completed, I get all of my, everything I would expect from a traditional dev environment with my own internal CI CD, all the application dependencies, all pulled down, all integrated for Git. So when I'm done, and this is finished initializing, I can just do my first Git commit, and it immediately goes and builds my application and deploys that to the native cloud offering. And so when this is done, I'll just skip a little bit for the sake of time. Actually, it should be done about now. So when I'm done, Build back. right, now I change can the have directory a single command the provided code. to me to do my first commit. I just run that command. I can commit my first line of code. I can commit and push that. Ship presents me with a single command to run to create my first run. commit. I'm going to copy that command and paste it into my terminal. Wait for it to run. We're doing our first commit. Pushing it to master. From here, a build is automatically triggered commit. and the shipped. The build process is already done for you, and here we can actually wow, that was fast. see the build is already completed. I can deploy all any build that's passed to an environment less than or published to the marketplace. I can start building my cloud native application. Finally, now I want to deploy here, it. Here, to deploy it, we I'm have to create a new environment. Already pointed to our I'm going to call my environment I just production. Say the environment that I want to deploy it to. I type in that. Save environment, and I press deploy. And now I can and choose this what environment. What I can do is my application that I've written, I've, I've written will immediately be, be deployed to the native quick. cloud. And we can see here. Now I can easily browse to that application and, and see it up and, and running. There it is. With shipped, it's easy so to get your new idea to production minutes. in less than five minutes. I can define my flavors and the complexity of cloud application development. Pull it down with a single line. Commit my uh, single update to the application. That automatically, you push that to the, to the cloud GitHub, automatically build and deploy it already for you and deployed within the cloud natively. And that kind of ends the talk that I have today regarding how Cisco Cloud is enabling cloud native application development. And uh, looking forward to collaborating with you. If you have questions, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much.